Hey, it's Nancy, your Monday vlogger for Recipe for Weight Loss. It's Monday, March 29th, 2010, and this week we're talking about tips. So I'm going to get right to it. Number one, walk the walk. Don't proclaim to the whole world that you're going to lose weight and that you're going to be healthy and you're going to eat healthy and exercise and everything, and then don't do it. Um, I think this is especially important if you have kids because what kind of a message is it sending them if... Um, you know, if you say you're going to do something and then don't do it. So uh, as a parent, I want to teach my son to honor his commitments to himself and honor the things that he says that he's going to do and do it. I want him to grow up and be able to achieve all the goals that he sets out to achieve. And the only way that he's going to do that is if he learns how to be committed to something. And when he watches me commit to something and do it, he's going to learn exactly how to follow through. Number two, make it fun for the family to lose weight, to be healthy. Some ideas are try to have contests to see uh, who can drink all their water for the day. Uh, maybe have a sticker chart and put up a sticker for every glass of water each person drinks and just kind of make it like a game. Um, I once babysat for a family who had this really cool sticker chart on the refrigerator and every time they would eat a banana or some kind of fruit that has those stickers on it, they would remove the sticker and put it on the fridge and it would just be this cool collection of their fruit stickers. Um, another thing that I recommend is uh, what they call Xer gaming or you know like the Wii. Um, I have a Wii and if you have one I think they're great. I mean, I think it's a really great way to promote a uh, you know, fun activity within your family. Um, Dance Dance Revolution, that's a really great game. We fit. Make it fun. Make it a game um, and, and do that with your family. Number three, um, don't keep junk food in the house or keep it at a minimum. If you really want something, a special treat, something that tastes really good, some ice cream, um, make it an activity for the whole family. Go out. Go out somewhere. Go out to Cold Stones and get some ice cream. That's my favorite ice cream place to go to. And by the way, my favorite uh, cake batter ice cream with cookie dough, walnuts, and sprinkles. Ah, it's like a party in your mouth. It's so, so good. But I only save it for times when it's really, really worthwhile. I make sure that I, you know, have enough calories to enjoy it and that I've exercised and everything like that because I just want to enjoy it. I want to, I want to feel good about it. Wouldn't you rather go out and enjoy it and, and feel like it's a special occasion than to just sit there and lounge on the on the sofa watching TV and eating ice cream it's just so much more enjoyable to do it the other way number four if you can't do number nine if you if you just absolutely cannot keep junk food out of the house um, do resistance training and this is a term that I made up I don't know I'm, I bet somebody else has thought of it before me but resistance training learn how to watch somebody eat something that you want to eat and not eat it. Don't touch it. If you can learn how to do that, then you've achieved something that I think is really, really important when you're trying to lose weight. I know that kids have a lot of junk food. Kids maybe have their cupcakes, their cookies for school, you know, events or whatever. Um, so if you can learn how to do that, that's great. Number five, do resistance training. Yes, in addition to uh, your cardio workouts. Make sure that you get some strength training in, guys. It's really, really important. Um, you know, I still have a lot of weight to lose, but I'm doing that. And don't wait till you're like close to your goal or almost at the end of your um, your weight loss journey to start doing that because it's so important to do along the way. Um, it helps you burn fat. It increases your metabolism. I mean, it really, really does. It really burns fat and um, it speeds up your metabolism while you're not working out. So why not take advantage of that and do it? Number six, learn to cook. I know there's a lot of people who know how to cook way better than me, but if you're one of the people like me who is not great at cooking, who you know likes quick and easy um, or fast food or you know just easy stuff, frozen foods or whatever, learn how to cook. Make the effort. It's going to be beneficial for you. It's going to be beneficial for your family, for your kids. Watch the Food Network if you can. 
go to cookinglight.com or sparkrecipes.com is also a great website and just experiment with new vegetables, with new foods, and get fresh food on the table. Which leads me to number seven, get a food scale. I have a food scale, it's excellent. How can you know exactly how many ounces something is or how many grams something is unless you have a, a scale? So I highly, highly recommend that if you are trying to be very accurate with your with your calories, if you're counting calories, or if you're doing Weight Watchers, that's also a very important uh, tool, to, tool to have. Number eight, this goes along with, with the food, with cooking. Make fun foods that your family is going to enjoy. So as you're cooking foods um, from scratch, I would highly recommend learning how to make foods that your family loves, like pizza or lasagna or, you know, whatever, like, quote unquote junk foods or unhealthy foods or extremely fatty foods learn how to make those but learn to make them a little bit lighter um, I'm not saying to substitute tofu because I am not the kind of person who likes to, to eat like super diety foods I would much rather just lighten it up just a little bit um, I don't use I don't use oil or butter on my cooking I use canola um, cooking spray it's called um, Crisco cooking spray and it's zero calories and it saves a lot of calories and then in addition to that I use portion control and I add a salad or veggies on the side and that really helps to fill me up I, I highly recommend that you watch a couple of different shows that I think uh, are helpful um, Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution I think it's a pretty new show I just watched a couple episodes on Hulu um, and you can catch up on Hulu.com uh, it's 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 going to really change the way that you think about food, um, and it has a special that particular show has a special emphasis on kids and school lunches. So if you have kids who are in elementary school age, um, it's going to encourage you to think twice about giving you know allowing them to eat from the school lunches. Um, and then another show, another program, it's called Fast Food Nation. Um, that one is specifically targeting the fast food industry and if you eat fast food, if you eat from McDonald's on a regular basis, you can be sure that after you watch this show, you will not be eating there uh, at least for a while. Um, so that's just a warning. Um, but I think it's really important. I think it's really important to watch. I've also heard that um, Food Inc. is also very good. So speaking of fast food, Try to avoid giving your kids fast food kids meals. This is my number 10 tip and I think it's really important. Um, fast food places put so much money into making their places kid friendly. They provide um, toys with their meals like the little toys that the kids get. Um, they decorate with super bright colors, yellows and, and reds and bright blues. Um, they want to make it attractive for your kids. They have those indoor playgrounds. Um, obviously, the goal is to get the kids to to like the fast food and to get them addicted. They know that your kids are impressionable, and they totally take advantage of that. So, if at all possible, if your kid wants um, a kid's meal with a toy, tell them, you know what? How about let's get you a toy from you know Target or something like that. Try to break try to break that emotional connection um, before it happens you know to this day I still get this like warm tingly feeling whenever I go to McDonald's it's ne it's it was a, a connection that was established when I was a young child and to this day I still love McDonald's unfortunately <laughs> it's really bad but you know if you have kids try to try to put in that effort and try to break that connection so those are my tips um, and I hope that they were helpful. I hope this video, uh, this video is very, very long. I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit, but, uh, I hope it was helpful and I'm excited to hear everybody else's this week. Tomorrow's Marianne and uh, I'm excited to hear what kind of tips she has for everybody. So stay tuned. See you guys next week.